and welcome to yet another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and I'm joined today by my colleague, Billy Noble, the Senior Application Specialist here at the company. Today, Billy will be talking to us about embedding a link in a map. All right, Billy, take it away. I'll be showing you how to make a uh, file linked to a feature in Global Mapper. Uh, so first, uh, you select the digitizer tool and select the feature of interest that you want. Right click and go to edit point feature in this case. Uh, and first I want to embed a an inspection report for this hydrant um, to this hydrant in Gold Mapper. So you look at the attributes um, and click add file link and choose the file on your computer that you want to link to this feature. And then um, you click OK. And I will save that uh, file link to that feature. Um, using the Feature Info tool now, um, you can select that feature again and choose uh, to display uh, that linked file um, as uh, in Word and click OK. So when you click it again, it should open up in a Word document or whatever uh, program that you want to view this in. Um, so you can also attach multiple files. So in this case, I want to select uh, a photo that I have of this hydrant. So go back to the digitizer, right click, edit point feature, and click add file link again. So then just navigate to the photo on your computer, click OK, click OK again. So when you use the Feature Info tool again to select the feature, now you have an option to choose either the first link, which was the report, or the second link, which was the photo. So I'm going to choose File Link 2 and click OK to make the save change. And that will open up the photo of the hydrant. So next time you open this uh, feature using the Feature Info tool, you can just choose um, which link you want to open and how you want to open it. And that is how you embed a file into a feature in Gold Mapper. Billy, thank you so much for showing us that workflow. I think our users will find it very useful. To learn more about Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, please visit bluemarblegeo.com today. And as always, be sure to join us for our next episode of Ask the Experts. <laughs>